And y'all get mad and I don't understand why I go in on, on Gennady Golovkin so hard. But we back. It's the Boxing mm-hmm. Clinic of Morris, your boy CJ Goodfella. And that's what we do in a real trip boxing talk. I definitely appreciate you guys subscribing and sharing the videos, liking, dislike, commenting. But saying ignorant, dumb stuff in the in the comment section will get you banned from the channel. Using the N-word with the E-R on the end of it. Or just saying some retarded shit on a consistent basis. But nothing but negative, negative energy and troll energy. We'll get you banned. And um, that's just real trill talk. You know, because I don't got time for people to be messing up. And uh, filling my comment space with a whole bunch of bullshit. And I go through each comment. As you guys might recognize. And I get a lot of them a day. So, you know, that is what it is. But Frank Warren is, is, is telling everybody that Gennady Golovkin is lying on him and Billy Joe Saunders. Saying that. They pricing they sell file for a Gennady Golovkin fight, which the screenshot will come in in a minute. And that's what Team Triple G be screaming. Y'all get mad and say, oh, you a hater. A hater is 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 nitpicking. You know, it's nitpicking. Like, I, I, you know what? He don't do this good. And it's it's a lot to hit on Golovkin. But this is what uh, Frank Warren had to say today. Uh, this is just simply not true. Um, you know, Billy Joe Saunders signed his part of the contract to face Triple G boxing in Kazakhstan last June. And then Triple G uh, side what uh, wouldn't sign it. That's what he wasn't wasn't signed. He mean wouldn't it? If you are really serious about fighting for all the belts, get your promoter to call me and let's uh, get the fight made. You know Frank Warren Sanchez Triple G won't be unified with Saunders. Won't fight him and see how they be they be uh, putting out false bullshit out there. That's what I'm talking about. It's not hating. Hating is like man, you know um, LeBron man, you know. Uh, you know, he made that one shot floater. Hey, he should hey, hey he should have had his eyes closed and, and, and then I would I'd appreciate it more if he made it. I mean, I'm not pulling shit out of thin thin air about Golovkin. Everything that I'm talking about is factual, that came from his camp, and it's bullshit. He has consistently out lied about money. He wants the lion's share of the money and then and then he don't want to pay nobody. Okay? And not only that, and then when they come to a deal and Billy Joe Saunders signed to fight him in his home country, he listens to Oscar De La Hoya and say, if you fight Billy Joe Saunders, you're not going to get the Canelo fight. He fights Canelo. He goes to Vegas. He concedes everything in the Canelo. All he had to do is show up and throw his trunks and shoes on and wear the gloves that Canelo tell him to wear and fight. And at the end of the day, he get mad talking about Canelo had a cast around around his uh. His hand illegal illegal rapping, they were stacking. The cast did I mean the hand did like a cast a little bit. He complains about the judges. What did you think he was going into? The same thing Trout dealt with in Texas, the same thing Ares Lonnie dealt with in Vegas, the same thing Floyd Mayweather dealt with in Vegas. So you thought you was gonna be something different because you thought you were gonna knock the guy out? It didn't happen. You didn't do what you were supposed to do, and you came up short. So don't be trying to act like just because fans and some people believe you won the fight, you won the fight, you didn't. You did not win that fight. Box Rex calls it a draw. The record books call it a draw. So just because you got a draw, it doesn't mean your styatus, it, 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 it rises. Your profile does not rise. And people are showing that, okay, you did a million points something on single de Mayo fighting Ronald's Montrosian. It was the only boxing on that night. HBO has a hell of a subscriber list. You know, and people cons- consistently. Tune in and watch that bullshit ass boxing. But back to the topic of discussion. Like I told you guys, he is lying about money. He's saying, and listen to what Abel Sanchez said. He said that uh, he, he uh, Billy Joe asked uh, Danny Jacobs for $7 million. That means he don't want to fight Golovkin. What the fuck that got to do with Golovkin? He said Danny Jacobs, and the reason he priced himself so high for Danny Jacobs is because he wanted to fight Golovkin, and in order for him to give up a Golovkin fight versus a risky, versus a risky Danny Jacobs, that's what he asked for. He never priced himself out of Golovkin. They had a deal in place for him to go to Kazakhstan so Triple G could win the belts in front of his country. So does that sound like somebody that priced himself out? That's somebody that understands they the B-side. He's going to your home country to fight you. And you know why they don't want to fight Billy Joe Saunders no more? Because Billy Joe Saunders is back in shape and he back fighting and boxing like, like he knew he could. He's a threat now. So all of a sudden, they don't want that last belt. Oh, no, no. We don't want the Canelo fight. They really want the Canelo fight. And if they can't get the Canelo fight, they're they willing to sue the IBF or go to legal litigation with the IBF over being stripped for not fighting that mandatory fighter because they know they don't want to fight Shizanko. So now they want to tie that up. We can hold the belt. And fight Murata for the regular WBA belt because he's doing 15 to 19 million viewerships on Japanese TV. 
And they believe that's the second biggest pay that they got the middleweight division. At the end of the day, dog, Triple G is a fraud, man. His whole team is hypocrites and frauds. And they and they liars at that. They they blatant liars now. Not exaggerations. The hypocrite and all that shit. And now you can add liars to the list. Billy Joe Saunders never said he didn't want to fight Golovkin. He said even if he lost to Canelo Alvarez and Golovkin, he would still give him a fight. Just as long as he knew he was in position of power and he was the A side because he had the belt and Triple G didn't have a belt no more. So look at the situation, bro. This dude is lying. Just as Barry Hearn, when I dropped that story, just as the article read word from word that Barry Hearn said he did not want Anthony Joshua to fight Wilder, it's fucking fanboys coming on here saying, well, you know, you know why didn't you take the $12 million deal? Wilder really don't want to fight. What are you talking about? Joshua came out and said, I don't want to fight the 2018, 19, 20, 21, 20. He, he said that. Then Barry Hearn came out and said it word from word. Then after that, the boxing scene article came out. Barry Hearns don't want Joshua to take the Wilder fight. So what is y'all not getting through y'all little peon heads over there in the UK and the fans that's continuing to, to, to support Anthony Joshua's duckage of Deontay Wilder? What don't you guys understand? And the same people that's defending Gennady Golovkin and funding his bullshit fights versus Vinus Montarosian, what don't you understand? Are y'all dudes that retarded and that slow that y'all can't see what they doing? The shit is out there. We'll fight anybody from 54 to 75. Then they changed it to 68. Then they said, we're not moving down to fight Canelo or, uh, or, or Cotto, but we moved down to fight Florida Pacquiao. Oh, you know what? Andre Ward, too big for us. 164 and a half. Oh, this guy outpricing himself. This guy outpricing the. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want Undisputed. Oh, we'll fight Billy Joe Sanders. No, he pricing himself out because he priced himself out versus Danny Jacobs. Oh, no. You know, uh, Vinus Macharogian, he was the best option. Shazanko, he's the mandatory, but he wanted too much money. Oh, no. No, he's too dangerous of a fight. No, no, we don't want to fight Danny Jacobs. Oh, no, what? Canelo, you know, unless he can see something to give us a little bit more money or a little bit more of the power, we're going to fight Ryder and Murata. Oh, no, we don't want Undisputed no more. I mean, we got Hopkins title defense with these regular WBA titles when he was a paper champion. Get the fuck up out of here, man, with that bullshit. And I dare one of y'all come in the comment section. I'm going to ice y'all ass if y'all disagree. We gone.